Hello everyone, welcome to Exam Assure. So today we are going to discuss about the upcoming GATE 2024 exam. I'm sure there are a lot of you students out there who are hearing about the GATE exam for the first time. So today this video is especially for you guys. We are going to discuss about what is the GATE exam, why is it important, what are the benefits of this exam and important dates and so on. So if you see GATE exam is basically a national level exam which is conducted by various IITs together uh, each IIT different year. Uh, it is to test your comprehensive understanding about your undergraduate level subjects in and this exam is conducted for various fields or various uh, fields related to let's say architecture or even your humanities, engineering etc. So this year you have IISC Bangalore which is going to be conducting the GATE 2024 exam. Another important point about the GATE exam is that every year we have roughly 9 to 10,000 students who appear for this exam. So this number has been increasing from 2019 onwards if you see from 7,000 in roughly 7,000 in 2018, we have around 9,000 students who've been appearing since 2019. Why should one give GATE or what are the benefits of pursuing or appearing for this exam? So it can be considered more also as a pathway to higher education or even secure a career in teaching or government jobs. Candidates who qualify GATE exam are also uh, given scholarship for master's program if they wish to pursue post-graduation and likewise. So if you see for post-graduation, there's a stipend given to students as well as if there is a candidate who wants to pursue their uh, doctoral program or PhD in architecture or planning. Again, GATE is beneficial in the same way. With respect to government jobs, now if one of you or any of you want to pursue or prepare for government jobs, preparing for GATE is also going to be beneficial for the same. Because if you see GATE being a national level examination, the syllabus somewhere overlaps or let's say when we are preparing for GATE, we go through all subjects right from architecture to planning and the syllabus or the base for your any government exam can be considered or uh, be well prepared if you prepare for GATE. With respect to post-graduation, again, with a good GATE score, you have chances of getting into IITs, NITs, or even SPAs. So with GATE score, you have SPA Vijayawada and SPA Bhopal that consider candidates on the basis of their GATE score. Other than that, we have SPA Delhi as well. Along with that, we have various government funded institutes also. We have uh, IISCs or even Indian Institute of Remote Sensing where you can pursue your master's in planning. Uh, you have Jamia Milia as well for uh, where your GATE scores are considered. So these being very, very important institutes as well. Along with that, with respect to government jobs, so if you see there are various PSUs, public sector undertakings, who recruit candidates through on the basis of their GATE score. So if you see in 2018, Airport Authority of India had recruited candidates only on the basis of their GATE score. Likewise, various PSUs uh, keep uh, updating about their vacancies as and when needed and some of them also recruit as per your GATE score. Now who is eligible to give GATE or who can give GATE? So all candidates who are currently in their third year or have completed their third year of bachelor's in architecture or planning let's say can pursue GATE examination. So there is no upper limit or age criteria for this examination. You should have completed or pers be pursuing your third year, right? So this is what uh, has been also mentioned in the brochure. 
of uh, that is on the IISC website. Along with that, candidates who have completed their degrees from uh, professional institutes or by giving examinations which are conducted by the professional institutes. So for example, with respect to your architecture, field of architecture, we have the IIA which uh, conducts examinations and uh, equivalent professional courses are completed. So a candidate who's pursued that as well is also eligible to give this exam. As far as the important dates are concerned, the date for uh, completing your online registration without late fee is 29th of September 2023. And the extended date with a late fee is 13th October. The exam will be somewhere tentatively held like every year in the first or the second weekend of the month of February 2024. Okay, so I hope uh, this is helpful for you. Thank you.